The Starfield user interface is a typical Bethesda Game Studios user interface that seems to have been designed to be viewed on a television across the road through the neighbor's window. Okay, I'm being a little hyperbolic there, I will admit, but you get the point. For those of us who are on PC and we sit right in front of the monitor, the user interface is a little too large and it doesn't make good use of the possible real estate. Luckily for us, we have a mod called Star UI, and that name probably invokes memories of the Sky UI mod for Skyrim. And yeah, this mod does a very similar thing, at least um, insofar as it changes the inventory menu, the container menus, and the trade up menus. The top level inventory is similar to the vanilla UI, actually, except you can see more categories at a single glance. And instead of just having the quantity of items in each category, it actually shows you the combined mass of all of those items, which can be very useful for finding, you know, exactly what it is you've picked up that's currently tiring you out. But it's once you head into the individual categories that you really begin to see the differences. There are so many more items visible at a glance, and you get a lot of information that you can compare and indeed sort by. So if you want to sort by value per mass, you can do that just by clicking up here. And you can quickly filter the weapons by things like melee, pistol, rifles, shotguns, and heavy weapons. And if I click there again, it just shows me everything. Different categories will show different sets of information. So for example, your meds will show you exactly what they are going to heal. And you can even show more columns. If you click on the plus up here, Perhaps you want to show how many rounds you have for each weapon, and perhaps you also want to show the quantity of them you've got. There you go. You can do that, close that, and you now have even more information. And yes, you can actually sort by those columns as well. Now, it doesn't remember these columns that you've selected between saves or sessions, so if you basically load the game again, it will be back to the default. However, you can actually define which columns appear as default through an INI file. I will show you that a little later. Now, you might be thinking, yeah, but this gets in the way of the preview. And it does. You still can press the inspect key and inspect as before. But you can also, if you want, just click the arrow there and it pretty much goes back to the same size list as vanilla and you can see all of them. So you really have a lot of control over what you are seeing at any one time. There is an amazingly useful column now added if you are trading, and it is the owned column. This will actually tell you how many of any item you're considering buying you already have, but it actually combines the number of items you have on you plus the number of items that are in the cargo hold. But if you'd rather see each individual number, you can. You can actually see, for example, with Neurojax, I've got one on me and one in my cargo. This is very useful. You can also see how much you're carrying and how much stuff you have stored in your cargo. And yes, the same is true when trading with your companions. You can now see how much they're carrying as well as how much you're carrying. For me, this mod is just an all-round improvement. I think it looks better because I sit right in front of my monitor. I find a lot more useful information at a glance. And just being able to do things like sort very quickly through all of these different columns or even add new ones they're just, these are just massively powerful features. The mod is very easy to install. I'll leave a link down below. Use whichever mod manager you prefer. And if you haven't yet got a mod manager or you don't really know how to mod yet, I'll leave a link down below to a video that will give you a quick guide how to do that. Once installed, you can customize it via an INI file. I'll show you how to do that on Vortex. I'm going to right click on the mod. I'm going to open in file manager. And then I'm going to go into data interface and I'm going to find star UI inventory dot I'm going to right click and I'm going to edit with notepad plus plus. 
you can edit it with whichever text editor you use. If when you go to this folder, you don't see an INI file, but you see something like star UI inventory and nothing else, it's possible you are hiding known extensions. What you want to do is go up to the top of Explorer, go to view, and find where it says file name extensions and select that. That will start showing things like .ini files. There are a lot of things you can tweak here. I'm going to let you play around and discover that. But I will show you how you can add a column to the default columns. For weapons, for example, I'm going to find the section that says S weapons equals, and currently it's damage, DPS, mass, value, VPN, and ammo. And I want to add something else. And what I want to be doing is looking up here and trying to find what column I want to add. The column I want to add is actually ammo rounds, and it'll tell you what it does there. I'm just going to right click and copy. And I'm going to go here, press comma, control V to paste ammo rounds. And then I'm just going to press control S, or you can of course just go to file and save if you want. And that is it. Now when I load a new game and go into the weapon section, rounds is already added. I no longer need to add it each time. And that's it. It's a brilliant mod that is very useful and very easy to set up how you want to set it up. I'm hoping this video has given you enough details to know what the mod includes, but also how you can begin to do that customization process. I will be back soon with more Starfield mod videos. In fact, I'm already working on two more right now. I'd love it if you could join me for those or any of the other videos I create on this channel. But whichever videos you decide to join me on, I look forward to seeing you there. And until then, remember as always, have fun. This is where we belong.